Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Wachowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to uh, take a look at the dollar versus uh, Swiss franc. It's uh, moving to a new session high after the ADP report. Uh, what has that done to the technicals? Uh, where are we going? I'm going to talk about it in this video, so let's get started. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the uh, daily chart. And the uh, price uh, has been rising since uh, basing against the 200-day moving average here. As you can see, pretty steady rise to the upside. We have did have... A, a retracement last week that took the price back into this uh, swing area going back to this uh, period right through here where we started to have different uh, swing lows and swing highs uh, got, got a little messy uh, perhaps uh, through um, through some of these air areas uh, but uh, for most part the, the uh, swing area did do its job and in, in the uh, corrective move last week the price uh, came down into that swing area between 0 0.8986 and 0 0.9 nine zero one seven eight found support buyers push back higher we also moved back above the 38.2 percent retracement that was probably uh the biggest uh, tell for the uh, buyers as uh, traders know i like to see uh, after a trend type move and this is a trend type move to the downside that you need to get back and stay above the 38.2 percent retracement so we are moving away from that move that 38.2 percent retracement and trading this week once again and our next uh, target on top side comes between 0 0.9118 and 0 0.91469 that rep that is a uh, representative of this uh, this uh, swing area through here where we uh, did have some swing different uh, swing lows and swing highs especially that high right there where the price then found some willing sellers we did move above it here and it got messy but then reestablished the level as resistance right here before moving to the downside so uh, 0 0.9118, 0 0.91469 are the next targets on the top side for this uh, currency pair. Uh, stay above the 38.2% retracement is what we want to see on the daily chart. Let's take a look at the hourly chart, see what that is telling us. And you can see that the price action today is uh, fairly confined, but we did take above, take the price above the high price from yesterday. And we are currently mm, kind of testing that level as well. The high price from yesterday reached uh, one, uh, let's see, one. Uh, 90.85 and uh, we're currently trading one at 90.85 so uh, just uh, right at that level and we'll see if the price can uh, move above and get above the high price from today it does 0 0.9094 not nine uh, what I uh, like about uh, the uh, price action through here is the break back above the 100 hour moving average and the corrective low uh, from trading Yesterday, I uh, did find support buyers in the early Asian session ahead of that 100-hour uh, moving energy before pushing to the upside. So that's good news. We also were was able to climb back above the uh, previous highs from last week's trading here, here, here uh, uh, at uh, it, toward, toward the end of the day yesterday. And we did find support buyers against that level again at first hour of Asian trading today at uh, 0 0.90712. So uh, we'll watch that uh, 71 level right here if the price can stay above that level in the short term that's the best news for the dollar versus the swiss if we move back below that and we could see some rotation back to the downside with the potential to move back down toward the 100 hour moving average if things get uh working in that direction but right now the buyers are trying to, to keep the bias going to the upside and uh trading to new highs uh, uh for the uh day and for the year uh we'll see if that uh, momentum can continue my name is greg michaelowski with the technical look of the dollar versus swiss Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.